Shifting focus now to some breaking news that's coming in. We're given to understand uh, boxer Vijender Singh is likely to join the BJP, jumping ship from the Congress party. We are expecting that induction to take place in about half an hour's time from now. That's what we're now learning, that Vijender Singh could be joining the BJP ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. Does this mean he would be fielded for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections or is he eyeing assembly elections on a BJP ticket later in the year? Pile, my colleague joining us, getting us uh, more details on this. Pile, what's the buzz? Well, the Olympian uh, turned politician, of course, Vijinder Singh, uh, tried his uh, political fortunes in the last 2019 election. Very, co very contested versus uh, Ramesh Bidudi from South Delhi, but lost that election. And since then, he has been considering various options, is what we're given to understand. But his joining uh, with the BJP comes at a very crucial juncture, Poonam. Uh, even though the BJP has already declared its seat for Haryana, from where Vijinder Singh really comes in, and also from Delhi, where he last contested him. But will the BJP be able to fill him in the upcoming assembly elections given the fact that the assembly elections are stated to take place end of the year? And within the thing and his image, you know, given the fact that there's going to be a body blow to the Gandhis, uh, in particular, so uh, Rahul Gandhi and, and Priyanka Gandhi Vada, who he was said to be very close to. And also the fact that he'll, he'll in a way, be able to blunt uh, the attack that has been witnessed on the BJP from the Jats in the state of Haryana and also in the wake of the recent uh, restless protest as well. Remember, he was somebody who stood up very, very strongly in support of the wrestlers who were protesting against Bridge Vision Charan Singh, but there will be a lot for him to answer now because he's just gone to the same side that he actually accused them of being, you know, of harassing the boxers, etc. It will be important to see what he really says and why. what are the reasons for which he's decided to dump ship to the BJP. Right, and we'll find out uh, more about that sooner than later once he joins the BJP. We're expecting that to happen in about half an hour's time. But as far as the optics go, both for the Congress and the BJP, there's a lot to offer as far as uh, the Olympian turned politician goes. Electorally, how much does he have to offer? How much of a dent would he make for the Congress party by jumping ship? Well, of course, A, he's going to deliver a blow in the sense saying that nobody young and nobody you know who has a career mind of their own will be able to last in the Gandhi family. A bastion because it's just about the Gandhi and uh, it's just about the Gandhi family themselves. And a lot of young leaders, whether it's Jitin Prasada, Jyoti Radhasya, Sindhya, all of these people jumped into the BJP essentially because they felt that they were not being given that you uh, that they really deserve. So that's, that's one message that the BJP will try to send. But there will be a lot for Bajendra Singh himself to answer as to why he decided to jump. It was just in 2019 that he was fielded by the Congress party from South Delhi. He, of course, lost that particular election. But what really went on from there on, because just about a few months ago he was seen by the side of Priyanka Gandhi Vadra at Jantar Mantar, you know, in support of the arresting protesters. But, and, and also, you know, calling out the BJP and the BJP leadership for not being doing, uh, doing enough for the causes of the arresters. But he's now jumped, jumped ship and come to the BJP and is expected to be a member of the BJP within the next half an hour or so, as, as you're just saying. So we'll have to just see what his extension really will be and the BJP, how they want to utilize him. He definitely is somebody who has a lot of appeal among the masses, given the fact that he's an Olympian wrestler. And wrestlers and wrestling is a very, very crucial issue in some belts of Uttar Pradesh and also in some belts of Raj, uh, Rajasthan and Haryana. The BJP possibly will be able to use that service of his by over there to in fact quell that whole dissent which existed against the BJP. But most importantly, uh, poll, poll wise, it doesn't look like that he's going to get a ticket from either Delhi or Haryana because those seats have already been distributed. The only seat which remains in that part of the uh, country now is the seat, a uh, couple of seats from Punjab and probably a seat from Chandigarh. We'll have to just wait and see if the BJP decides to kill him from there. Right, Pal, thank you so much for getting us the latest on that.